what's good with y'all today we're back with another video but guess what i have a surprise for you today's video is top seven bleach fights not top five i was gonna do a top five i was actually gonna do a top five but there are too many fights in bleach for me to just choose five out of all the fights so today we're going to go through the top seven bleach fights now before we start this video don't forget to like comment subscribe comment down below tell me which what type of videos you want me to do next and yeah let's get into it and number seven shinsui versus stark now both these characters might be lazy but they're the strongest fighters in their fields things start off slow at first because none of them wanted to go all out but the pace of the fight picks up once coyote stark Releases his resurrection. That's when Shunsui takes off his pink kimono and gets serious. He draws the Shikai. What happens next is an unpredictable battle between the two veterans. In the heat of the battle, Stark quickly adapts to Shunsui's power to make children's games a reality. He even uses his power against him by creating wolves of pure energy to travel through the shadows, but that eventually leads to Lilinette disappearing in the battle, leaving him alone once again. In the end, Shinsui emerges victorious, marking the end of one of the greatest battles of the White Invasion. <laughs> battle number 6, Kenpachi vs Noitora. During the invasion of Hueco Mundo, Kenpachi appears to meet his match against the Quinto Espada, Noitora Gilka. While he's unable to harm him initially, <laughs> Kenpachi manages to cut through Noitora's hero and even stops his settle barehanded. <laughs> After using his resurrection, Noitora overpowers him with all of the extra arms he gained and plus his arms grew back after they got cut off too which is freaking crazy rather than continuing his normal method of hacking away at his opponent Kenpachi changes tactics and adopts a kendo stance he realized that he was really about to die and he wouldn't be able to taste the pleasure of battle anymore. It sounds simple, but apparently using both hands to hold this sword drastically increases Kenpachi's power to the point where he defeats Noitora with just two blows. This moment just shows how powerful Kenpachi can be. If you read the manga, you'll find out how powerful Zadaki Kenpachi has always been. And number 5, Aizen vs. the Gotei 13. And I'm gonna tell you right now, that fight was amazing. Like that fight had me on the edge of my seat. I re Yo, just listen. Following an all-out brawl, the allied groups appear to slowly overcome Aizen. <laughs> After Toshiro Hitsugaya delivers a lethal blow on him, victory seems to be in their grasp. <laughs> However, the fight is revealed to be an illusion by Aizen. Instead of delivering a finishing blow to Aizen, they realized that it was Hinamori the whole entire time they were fighting. Mina. Mina this fight is a frightening demonstration of Aizen's power. How easily he can turn enemies against each other. The moment where he crushes their hope 
and just picks him off one by one shows how cruel and manipulative you can be. And number four, we have one of the most classical fights in Bleach history. Ichigo versus Kenpachi. One of the best and most vicious fights in Bleach occurs during Ichigo's confrontation with the most vicious fighter of Gotei 13, Zadaki Kenpachi. This fight marks the moment where Ichigo realizes just how powerful the captain class Shinigami are. Kenpachi overwhelms him with both his bloodlust and intense spiritual pressure. Thankfully, Ichigo perseveres and fights in perfect harmony with his Zanpak toe, forcing Kenpachi to take off his eye patch and release his full power. As they both reach their limit, Ichigo surprisingly wins in one of the most epic final clashes in the series. This battle was also well known for allowing both Ichigo and Kenpachi to develop as characters. And number three, another classical bleach fight, Ichigo vs Byakuya. As the final battle in the Ryoka invasion arc begins, Ichigo finally gets his long-awaited confrontation with Kuchiki Byakuya. After undergoing the intense training and achieving Bankai forcefully with Urahara's method, Ichigo comes at Byakuya with everything he has. Their battle offers a nice contrast between Ichigo's hot-headed nature and Byakuya's stoic nature, as they both clash both their swords and ideals for the fate of Rukia's life. This fight also features several iconic moments, from the reveal of Ichigo's and Byakuya's Bankai, Bankai. Senbonzakura Kaneyoshi Bankai As well as the first time Ichigo's inner hollow manifests itself Fans will never forget this fight I will never forget this fight This fight was amazing Kurosaki-kun ga katsu te ittara and number two, Ichigo vs. Grim Zhao Jaga Jack. When it comes to rivalries, the one between Ichigo and Sex La Espada, Grim Zhao Jaga Jack, is one of the most intense. In the preparation for their third and final battle, because whoa, before this, Ichigo lost twice to Grim Zhao. This is their third battle. Grim Zhao pulls all the stops to make sure Ichigo can fight at full strength. He even rescues Orihime and temporarily seals away the Cuatro Espada, Ulkiora Sifer. Now, sir. When the time finally comes for them to fight, neither of them hold back as they clash to surpass one another. By the end of the fight, Ichigo develops a sense of respect for Grimjao. He even goes as far as to offer Grimjao the opportunity to fight him whenever he wants. That was until Noitara snuck up behind Grimjo and just whacked him across the head, which rendered him immobile. <laughs> and number one. And you guys probably already knew this, you beach fans already knew this. Ichigo versus Ukiyota. Out of all the fights he's been in, his battle against Ulkiora and his Segunda Etapa was one of his most challenging. Segunda Etapa. With both incredible power and impressive design, Ulkiora quickly defeats Ichigo and seemingly kills him with a settle to his chest. However, Ichigo's inner hollow takes control, and Ichigo turns into a Vasto Lorde, 
resulting in a no holds barred battle between demons. <laughs> As a hollow, Ichigo abandons all morality and proceeds to mercilessly tear Ulkyora apart. As he crushes him under his heel, he brutally finishes him with a settle to his face. <laughs> Ulkyora's demise was one of the saddest moments in Bleach because he died right after finally finding meaning to life thanks to Orihime. Alright, that's it for today y'all. I hope you guys liked this video. This was something new because I actually love Bleach. I recently I recently rewatched it. So hopefully you guys like the video and check out Bleach if you haven't already. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, and that's it. Peace. the hard times, I feel the pain through the hard times.